Good afternoon, everyone. I welcome you all to another series of new at EmployWise. I am your host, Kunjan Bell, Customer Relationship Executive at EmployWise. This webinar will be conducted for about 30 minutes and will cover the new feature releases for the last month. That was October. Now let me introduce you to our speaker, Ashish Chindal, who is Vice President Product Engineering at EmployWise. Ashish leads the design and development of the EmployWise product and is also responsible for delivering technology innovations. He has over 15 plus years of experience in IT industry and has led two major product developments in several customer application projects. Now I hand over the presentation to Ashish. Thanks Gunjan. Hello everyone and thanks for listening in. Welcome to the next episode of the new at EmployWise webinar. At EmployWise, we bring updates every week and this webinar is a way to inform our customers and partners and anybody else about these changes. So I will discuss the new features released in the month of October module-wise and then we can take questions from the attendees. It's been a relatively quiet month since many changes we are doing are in the pipeline. Nevertheless, we have added quite a few useful features. So we will talk about changes to employee information portal, leave and attendance, performance management system, travel and expense, and employee acquisition modules. We will first start with some enhancements to our leave and attendance module. First of all, we now have an option to allow managers and HR users to view leave account of a specific member of their team. This is available in the option team leave account under leave menu. The specific employee can be searched using name search and the system then shows the leave account for that employee on pressing go. So this of course shows the entire leave details in terms of what are the balances for each type of leave, what was the balance at the start of the year, how much have been added, how many times the employee has taken how much leave has been uh, availed, what is yet to accrue, etc. So this makes it easier to view this leave account without needing to go through the leave application form of that employee like it used to happen earlier. We have also made a small change in allowing HR users to make changes to shifts in terms of name changes or code changes on their own. So they can do that on their own now. In the employee acquisition module, we have added a feature to classify recruitment requests, RFR that is, as budgeted or non-budgeted. This will help organizations track budgeted hiring versus unplanned non-budgeted hiring. So in the RFR, as you can see in the circled part, there is a field which asks is this a budgeted position and the user can specify yes or no. In time to come, subsequently we will be adding to this a full fledged manpower resource planning and budgeting functionality but this is a starting point. The budgeted non-budgeted information is also available to all the approvers and they can even change this classification and this information obviously is also available in our reports section in the uh, employee recru uh, recruitment module reports. Moving now to the travel and expense changes, we have made a few changes to this module to make it easier. So by default now the advanced required field will be no instead of yes. This will make it easier for users most of whom in our reckoning do not request for advanced and therefore it, it becomes an easier default option. Only users who need advanced will explicitly request for it saying yes and then get an option to uh, specify the amount that they want to request for. Secondly, we have also uh, included highlighting of the required, not required booking uh, classification for the approval to make, to enable the approval to, uh, to do, to make decisions uh, in a better way to tell the approval which line items the employee will be uh, booking on his or her own and which requires 
uh, booking from the travel desk. And finally, we have added a useful option to enable easier tracking and retrieving of draft travel expense claims. A lot of times, users used to make travel expense claims not able to complete it because they got engaged in something else and therefore uh, saved it as draft and left. And when they came back to the system, it was slightly painful for them to track where their expense claim went and uh, how to retrieve them. The travel request was no longer available since an expense claim was already started. So we have sorted this problem by making such travel requests also available as a new travel uh, expense claim. So now if a travel expense claim is lying incomplete from a previous attempt, the user does not have to do anything to track it or retrieve it. Simply choosing to make a new claim against that travel request will automatically bring up the previous incomplete claim and allow the user to complete it. Of course, the user will also have the option to discard the claim and start, start afresh if he or she uh, chooses to do so. So no more incomplete, untracked, draft expense claims uh, flying around. So hope, we hope to make uh, this part of using employer's travel module easier for our users to give feedback on this. We made a small addition in EIP module. The field employees company has been added in the employee details uh, report. Uh, thanks to our users for pointing out this, this, this missing field in this report. Moving on now to the PMS uh, module. We have been making a lot of effort adding various reports and dashboards to the PMS module to add better insights and tracking to the whole process. So apart from the nine grid box dashboard that is already available, we have added two new reports and dashboards. One is a complete summary of a completed performance appraisal available as a downloadable PDF file. This gives a complete summary as well as KPI wise, competency wise details for each review period and acts like a handy performance docket which can be emailed etc. So each completed Performance appraisal will have this option to download a uh, performance plan summary as you can see here. These are snapshots from the downloaded PDF file that emerges. Uh, this is of course a very detailed uh, report and we will be adding more sections to this uh, in subsequent time. But already we have a summary and uh, KPIs wise details for each period including what was the target, what was the achievement, what was the different ratings and the resultant score etc. So all these details are now available in a handy format. We have also added a plan tracker dashboard. Now this is a very useful tracker for HR uh, users who will be able to get a complete uh, trackdown of how the plan cycle is progressing through the year and they can do it uh, by function, business unit or by location and within them, within that to specific stages. So for example, it, it gives a visual idea of how much percentage of the employee force uh, has completed say for example goal setting and how many have done uh, review within each function or view or location. They can then drill it down within a function uh, and stage to see how, how much progress has been made in some stages. So for example, in goal setting itself, there are various stages like goals defined, goals being approved by the manager or the crazy if, if, if so required. There can be optional stages for uh, goals to be approved by a reviewer and goals to be accepted. For each of these sub stages, the HR user can see what is the percentage completion, how many employees at each level are there and then can further drill down to see who these employees are who have either completed or not completed. So the system gives you a complete drill down of both the completed set and those who have yet to complete their stages. So we hope this to be a very useful uh, plan cycle tracker and one which will enable HR departments to track the progress as uh, 
the different employee states within different functions go on and completing their uh, appraisal stages. Apart from these dashboards, we have made, made a small change which will make viewing KRA KPIs a little easier. These will now be listed alphabetically in goal setting as well as performance review stages. So it will be easier for anybody looking at these stages to uh, search for the specific KRA KPIs that he or she is looking for. Okay, so since there are no more questions, we'll bring then, uh, this presentation to an end. Thank you all for listening in. Uh, we hope you find uh, you are able to find the use in some of the features that we keep adding. We will be very glad to hear about the feedback on both this webinar and features that you want and we will try to address them in our roadmap for the employee best product. Thank you for listening in. For any feedback, suggestions, Please feel free to visit our uh, website on employwise.com slash community.html. For specific feedback and suggestions, you may write an email to gunjan.gurg at employwise.com. Thank you everybody. Have a great day.